save our planet. People around the world pledge to save the planet. Animal agriculture uses 30% of all the Earth's land surface. Meat production is the number one cause of soil erosion. Over half the fresh water in the United States goes toward irrigating feed grains and raising livestock. A diet high in meat and dairy is responsible for emitting such vast quantities of greenhouse gas, the Center for Science in the Public Interest calls it the Global Warming Diet. Despite the urgency of these and other facts from reputable scientific sources such as the United Nations, they were not until recently as widely known. Fortunately, the level of awareness has been changing, as could be witnessed at this year's annual Meat Out Day. As part of this health and environment protecting grassroots campaign, citizens worldwide were asked to pledge to veg at least for one day on the first day of spring. Leading climatologist Dr. James Hansen, who is also the chief of the US-based NASA Goddard Institute for Space Studies, also added his pledge while speaking at the Climate Change Day of Action in Coventry, United Kingdom. I pledge to go veg on Meat Out Day. This year's Meat Out brought the climate change vegetarian solution to the public. At Arizona State University in the southwestern United States, Vegans who ran an information table shared their knowledge. Factory farms, for instance, have a larger carbon footprint than all the cars in the world combined. In Formosa, or Taiwan, we visited two elementary schools where young students not only eat vegetarian once a week, they also understand the benefits of doing so.学校今天为了响应国际无肉日世界无肉日 Workplaces also provided a chance for their employees to learn more about the vegetarian diet on Meat Out Day. In South Korea, our association members were invited to give a presentation about diet and climate change at the National Institute of Scientific Investigation. They also prepared a vegan lunch at the facility's cafeteria. All in all, an increasing number of people are making the connection between the vital role of our diet and planetary survival. I pledge to go vegetarian on Meat Out Day. And I hope others will do it too. I very happily uh, pledge to be a uh, veg for Meat Out Day because I'm a vegetarian anyway. Hi, my name's Alex. You're watching Supreme Master Television. Why not take meat out of your diet on Meat Out Day and stay vegetarian and help save the world? Eco protection is now a main reason for being a vegetarian. Ben, c'est entre autres parce que la consommation de viande est très produit un grand réchauffement climatique là, dans le fond. Largement, c'est pour ça. Puis après ça, c'est pour une raison de de santé aussi là je trouve qu'on surconsomme la viande là puis aussi on sait pas tout le temps la viande elle vient d'où dans le fond to all world citizens of all nationalities, careers and ages who are making a real difference by choosing the greenest lifestyle, which is to live meat-free lifestyle. 
May many more step forward to become heroes who will help rescue our planet. Let's make Meat Out Day every day. Vegetarianism in Religion The Baha'i Faith Regarding the eating of animal flesh and abstinence therefrom, know thou of a certainty that in the beginning of creation God determined the food of every living being, and to eat contrary to that determination is not approved. Selections from the Baha'i Writings of Some Aspects of Health and Healing Buddhism All meats eaten by living beings are of their own relatives. Lankavatara Sutra Kaudai the most important thing is to stop killing, because animals also have souls and understand like humans. If we kill and eat them, then we owe them a blood debt. Teachings of the Saints Christianity Meats for the belly and the belly for meats, but God shall destroy both it and them. Holy Bible And while the flesh was yet between their teeth, ere it was chewed, the wrath of the Lord was kindled against the people, and the Lord smote the people with a very great plague. Holy Bible. Confucianism. All men have a mind which cannot bear to see the sufferings of others. The superior man, having seen the animals alive, cannot bear to see them die. Having heard their dying cries, he cannot bear to eat their flesh. Mencius. Essenes. I am come to end the sacrifices and feasts of blood. And if ye cease not offering and eating of flesh and blood, the wrath of God shall not cease from you. Gospel of the Holy Twelve. Hinduism. Since you cannot bring killed animals back to life. You are responsible for killing them. Therefore you are going to hell. There is no way for your deliverance. Adi Lila He who desires to augment his own flesh by eating the flesh of other creatures lives in misery in whatever species he may take his birth. Mahabharata Anu Islam Allah will not give mercy to anyone except those who give mercy to other creatures. Hadith do not allow your stomachs to become graveyards of animals. Hadith Jainism A true monk should not accept such food and drink as has been especially prepared for him, involving the slaughter of living beings. Sutra Kritanga Judaism And whatsoever man there be of the house of Israel, or of the strangers that sojourn among you, that eateth any manner of blood, I will even set my face against that soul that eateth blood, and will cut him off from among his people. Holy Bible blood, meaning flesh. Sikhism. Those mortals who consume marijuana, flesh and wine, no matter what pilgrimages, fasts and rituals they follow, they will all go to hell. Guru Granth Sahib. Taoism. Do not go into the mountain to catch birds and nets, nor to the water to poison fishes and minnows. Do not butcher the ox that plows your field, tracked of the quiet way. Tibetan Buddhism. The offering to the deities of meat obtained by killing animate beings is like offering a mother the flesh of her own child, and this is a grievous failure. The Supreme Path of Discipleship Zoroastrianism Those plants I, Ahura Mazda, God, rain down upon the earth to bring food to the faithful and fodder to the beneficent cow. Avesta Everybody knows that vegetarian diet is good for health, and to save the planet. They will be awakening their own great, compassionate, loving self-nature, and then their level of consciousness will rise up automatically, and they will understand more than they ever did, and they'll be closer to heaven than what they are right now. <laughs> 